From the Channel 6 Satellite News Center, this is the 10 o'clock news. With comprehensive South Florida reports, plus news via satellite from across the nation and around the world. Good evening, I'm Nick Bogert. There are... everyone and welcome to our special halftime show. Barbara Sloan, Jim Dyer, Mike Bradley's Weather, John Dutzman's Sports, and the Ralph Reddick Report. This is the 10 o'clock news. signed today could bring hundreds of Cubans waiting in third countries to the U.S. That tops the 10 o'clock news. <laughs> Barbara Sloan, Jim Dyer, Ed Berliner's Sports, Mike Bradley's Weather. This is Channel 6 News. Miami Heat plays ball. That tops Channel 6 News. <laughs> Sloan, Jim Dyer, R.J. Himes Weather, John Dutzman Sports. This is Channel 6 News. Parents of U.S. Marines are holding their breath tonight, anxiously awaiting word about an air disaster. That tops Channel 6 News. You're going to be watching a lot more 6. Barbara Sloan and Giselle Fernandez. Channel 6 Action News. Just seconds away. We're earning our reputation one story at a time. Now, Barbara Sloan and Giselle Fernandez. Channel 6 Action News. Hello again. Barbara and Giselle are off tonight. I'm J.D. Roberts. Here's what's happening. You're going to be watching a lot more Six. Now, Barbara Sloan and J.D. Roberts. Channel 6 Action News. The headquarters of China's Communist Party and a government paralyzed despite martial law. Good evening. Tonight, China's army is refusing to confront the masses. You're going to be watching a lot more six. Now, Channel 6 Action News with Barbara Sloan. And J.D. Roberts. We're earning our reputation one story at a time. Now, Channel 6 Action News. Murder at a Broward rest home. It sounds like something out of an Agatha Christie novel. But it really happened today in plain sight of elderly residents. Now, Six Action News, taking action for you. A 
After that year's for the changing of the guard in Haiti, exiled President Aristide talks to reporters right here in South Florida. Once again, teens do some illegal shopping. Another smash and grab robbery. Out of grim prediction over what the closing of the South Florida State Hospital will mean to our area. Our top stories first at four on Six Action News. I'm Diana Morgan. And I'm Bob Silver. Now, 6 Action News, taking action to bring you a more balanced view of South Florida. This is 6 Action News at 11. Good evening. I'm Barbara Sloan. And I'm Stan Miller. Tonight, the city of Sweetwater should be called Streetwater. This is News 4 this morning. And a very good morning to you. It's 6 o'clock in the morning right now, Wednesday, April the 16th. 74 degrees on the outside, going up to 78. I'm Dave Stanley. And I'm Jennifer Gould. And so... Live from WFOR-TV, this is News 4 South Florida. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Anita Smith in for Cambrell Marshall. It Live from WFOR-TV, this is News 4 South Florida. And good afternoon. I'm Brian Norcross. And I'm Ileana Barella. Some clever cooks are dialing for your dollar, scamming South Floridians out of thousands. This is CBS 4 News at Noon. Lawyers head into federal court prepared to battle over the recount. While now, live, this is CBS 4 News First at Five. South Florida wakes up to the coldest temperatures so far this season. We were down in the mid-40s this morning, which is a big chill by South Florida standards. You're watching CBS 4 News. With Angela Ray, Steve Wolford, meteorologist Brian Norcross, and Jim Barry Sports. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 5.30. First at 5.30, a trail of truckers lined Biscayne Boulevard, causing a lot of straight ahead. You're watching CBS 4 News with Jennifer Gould, Elliot Rodriguez, and meteorologist Dave Rexroth. Sport News at 6, right here, right now. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 6. First at 6, flames burning up the Everglades, causing enough smoke to prompt officials to issue a health alert. That fire was brought under control just a few minutes ago. This line of uh, fire has charred thousands of acres just north of the Broward County line, west of US 27. Good evening, South Florida. I'm Maggie Rodriguez. I'm Steve Wolfer. CBS 4 News tonight, right here, right now. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 11. A gruesome discovery by a young boy fishing in a South Florida canal. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News this morning. And good morning, everyone. I'm Jason Wheeler. And I'm Susan Barnett. Here's a look at what's making news this morning. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at noon. President Bush gives Saddam Hussein 48 hours to get out of Iraq, but today the Iraqi leader says he's not going anywhere. The Iraqi dictator has rejected the president's ultimatum, putting America on the brink of war. Hello, South Florida. I'm Maggie Rodriguez. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. CBS 4 News at 5 starts right now. Now, live. This is CBS 4 News, first at 5. The search for answers is just beginning tonight after a plane takes a deadly plunge off the Bahamas. Investigators still have no idea why that plane crashed at sea, killing two people, including a toddler. The now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 5.30. First at 5.30 tonight, Hurricane Francis still strengthening and now moving faster through the Atlantic. Some residents are now taking precautions, getting ready for the Category 4 storm. All of South Florida is watching and waiting to see where Hurricane Francis is heading. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 6. First at 6 tonight, dreary, damp, and cool. It is one lousy combination for our South Florida weather. Here's a live picture right now. This is in Miami near 79th Street as drivers try to navigate through the soaked streets on their way home from work. Now, live, this is a special edition of CBS 4 News, America at War. 
Now, live, this is CBS 4 News This Morning. Can I say it again? Do it. 5 a.m., which is not the good part, but right. the Friday part is the good part. It is. He's at warp speed. <laughs> I am reading like this. Have okay, hello, South Florida. I'm Maggie Rodriguez. I'm Rob Hanrahan. CBS 4 News at 5 starts right now. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News First at 5. Straight off the top at 5, we've got big weather news. First, running from the rain as storm soaks South Florida once again. This is a live look over the Miami-Dade-Broward County line, showing that the bad weather just will not let up. But stay tight, the rainbow is in sight. And Thank you for joining us. I'm Shannon Horry. I'm Rob Hanrahan, and for Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News at 5 starts right now. From Miami-Dade, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. It's not the kind of thing you'd expect to smell traffic on a Friday evening. A small plane that went down right next to I-95. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 5.30. Now, residents are forced out in the middle of the night after flames ripped through a condo. It's amazing. It's a miracle. <laughs> Tonight, the damage and questions after this fiery wake-up call. You saw this story breaking right here first on CBS4. Tonight, a candle is being blamed for the entire thing. But the now, live, this is CBS4 News at 6. Drenching downpours make for some slick roads across South Florida today as the work week begins the same way the weekend ended. All wet. Now live, this is CBS 4 News at 11. Right now at 11. I'll... From Miami Day, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. From Miami Day, Broward and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. Well, it's 5 a.m. on Friday, Yay. November 21st. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jim Barry. And I'm Cynthia Demas. That was the second Dallas in the background. She's woohooing because <laughs> she loves Fridays. Oh. And From Miami Day, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. We begin with breaking news right now at 5. Just minutes ago, a nearly five hour search for a missing Alzheimer's patient and her grandchild came to an end. The you're watching CBS 4 News at 5 with Shannon Horry, Antonio Mora, Chief Meteorologist David Bernard, Hurricane Expert Brian Norcross, and Jim Barry with Sports. From Miami Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. Good, good, good evening. I'm Eliana Borella. CBS 4 News at 6 starts right now. From Miami Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida CBS 4 News. First at 6, students at the University of Miami are keeping their eyes peeled as they head out this weekend. Someone jogging near the UM campus was robbed at knife point last night. From Miami Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida CBS 4 News. You're watching CBS 4 News at 11 with Shannon Horry, Antonio Mora, Chief Meteorologist David Bernard, and Kim Vocampo with sports. Now at 11, fierce flame. Next on CBS 4 News at 6.30, a 14-year-old girl killed in a car crash with a BSO deputy. Her friends remember her tonight as we dig up what could have caused the accident. Then a memorial on wheels, lots of wheels. More than 1,000 cyclists ride in honor of a man killed in a hit-and-run crash. We'll have the latest in a CBS 4 I-Team investigation. And Sam's Club cuts. Why thousands of job cuts could mean more free samples for you. Good evening. I'm Shannon Horry. And I'm Antonio Mora. The CBS 4 News at 6.30, now in high definition, starts right now. From Miami-Dade, Broward and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. We begin tonight with the death of that 14-year-old girl killed in a crash with a Broward Sheriff's deputy. From Miami-Dade, Broward and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News.
And a good Monday morning to you. It is right before 5 a.m. on this Monday, August 15th. Thanks for joining us from Juan Strait. And I'm Natalia Yase, and Maribel Rodriguez is off today. Let's from Miami Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. First at noon, the hunt is on to find this man. Police say he sexually assaulted a young boy at a Metro rail station. Now, this is a story that is breaking right now. From Miami Day, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. The, the one regret I'll have as I leave this game and leave this locker room for the last time is that I didn't win the championship. They'll get it fixed. They're going to win. Unfortunately, I won't be here to do it with them. Miami Dolphins linebacker Jason Taylor gets emotional as he says goodbye to the Miami Dolphins and his career as an NFL player. Taylor finished with arguably one of the best playing careers in Dolphins history. From Miami Dade, Broward, and the Keys. This is CBS 4 This Morning. It is 5 a.m. Good morning to all of you. It is Monday, of course. Hopefully, you had a nice weekend, October 28th. I'm Maria Nanelli. And I'm Summer Knowles. Happy Monday to you. We've got From Miami Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. First at noon, deadly discovery. A car fire turns into a crime scene after the remains of at least one person are found inside a burned out car. Firefighters responded at 3 in the morning to a car fire in Hialeah. After they put it out, they discovered the remains. You're watching WFOR-TV for South Florida.